This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Home Improvement How To's. Today we're going to be painting a pool deck. Typically when we're dealing with these concrete pool decks we just stain them with a product called Agency Stain and I use a solid color stain and it's a water-based product and it's performed really well for me in the past but I just saw this product at Sherwin-Williams and they're demoing it to us to test out and it's another product by Agency uh, agency, the company, and it's called Acrylid Deck. And what's interesting about this product, it's designed for pool decks and it's designed to uh, make the surface up to 20 degrees cooler. So it's supposed to be cool on your feet. So we're going to be using it and it's not a stain, it's a deck coating. So it's designed to go on concrete. We power wash this concrete. We use our Mighty M All Surface Cleaner. I got another video showing the power washing process, how we went through the whole process of cleaning it. So you can see that on another video, but now we're just going through the staining process and it's very simple. It's just a water-based coating, deck coating, and you just roll it on. We're gonna be rolling it on and we're gonna roll on two coats. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be rolling it on one in one direction, letting it dry, coming back and rolling it on another direction. And we're gonna be using two colors. We got one color going on right here, an accent color, and then a little bit darker color is the main color. Very simple, just rolling it on with some nine inch rollers and some cut in buckets. So it's simple and easy to use, a lot like the H&C solid color stain, but this, the acrylic deck, this is a lot thicker than a uh, typical stain. So we're uh, using it today, don't know how it's gonna perform, don't uh, know a whole lot about it, but thank you very much to Sherwin Williams for demoing this product to us. So here we go, we're gonna get started with this. It's like that, I guess, you know, with that other stuff, we couldn't recode it right away. Here, we can. Yeah, but the water-based color top, you can recode the same amount of time as this. Oh, yeah, you can. The water-based agency, the same thing. So we're working right along with this H&C Krilla deck right here, and we've never used it before, so there's a few little things about this product. It dries really, really fast. So we've got our, our large rolling pan that we're rolling out of an 18 inch pan, and it's skimming over on the top, and then that skimming over stuff is getting into our decking. So we've just taken, sprinkled some water on the top to slow down the dry time on the top, so that could be an issue. But it's drying extremely fast. We've got our top coat right here on this upper portion of the deck done. It's only been about 30 minutes and it's already dry. It does note that in the instructions, we've got uh, part of our deck is out here in the sun. And if the deck is over 90 degrees, you need to wet it with water, uh, mist it with water to cool the deck down. So um, this out here wouldn't, uh, it's always gonna be in the sun at all the time. You could get up in the morning and do it first thing in the morning where the deck was really cool. but. Um, we're gonna, if we get to, we're gonna test the temperature with our laser thermometer. If it's too hot, we're just gonna wet it before we um, roll it out up there. But it's cruising right on, rolling. I like it because it's drying really fast so we can get our second coat on 
we'll be able to do two coats today. It does state that you, um, if, um, for heavy traffic, that you don't want to have heavy traffic on this thing for I think 36 to 72 hours. I think it's or 42 to 76 hours. You have to read the instructions, but. Um, we're just cruising right along, getting it done. We'll show you what it looks like when it's all done also. We're gonna do two coats. Roll one coat one direction, roll another coat another direction. So some of the tools we're using to apply this thing, we're using a four to eight foot extension pole. Makes it a lot easier so you don't have to bend over. We've got our, and roll it out. We're using nine inch rollers. Uh, we could use an 18 inch roller to make it a little bit faster, but we got some things to work around and there's two of us, so we're just using the nine inch. We're using a three eighths inch nap. These are pretty white dove naps. Got a pretty extension pole. Got our cut-in buckets, just using two gallon cut-in buckets with four inch rollers that do our cut-ins and a uh, two, two and a half inch angle sass brush or three inch angle sass brush for doing our cut-ins. So those are some of the simple tools. Uh, just rolling out of a large, a large 18 inch bucket right there. Two of us are pulling right out of that bucket. On what? started to cool off over here in the evening now we're getting over here out in the sun just using a Raytech mini temp uh, measure uh, temperature gauge sends out a little laser tells me the temperature of the concrete simple just got to make sure it's 90 degrees or lower or we got to cool it off with water so we're just cruising right along getting this thing done I don't work a couple hours into it on this pool deck we got most of it two coated. Just work on this section right here, working our way outside. The product here, once again, gonna go over just a few of the things on this product. Uh, this is the Acrylic Deck, HNC Acrylic Deck, and it's cool, has cool fuel technology in it, reduces the sur turf surface temperature up to 20 degrees. It says it's for interior, exterior use, no vehicle, no vehicular traffic, so you don't want to drive on it. It does require acid etching or etching, so we cleaned the surface and etched it. it. It does have a flat finish. It says for use on pool decks, patios and walkways, asphalt walkways, concrete floors, and concrete decks. So that's a little bit about the product right there. So we're getting it all done. It's got a super flat finish, and it's not the easiest stuff to apply. We, in the past, used the product from uh, Agent C, there's stain and it's a lot, it's way watery, not as thick as this. So this has taken a lot of effort to work it into the concrete on the first coat and both coats. So it takes quite a bit more product. I would say on this pool deck, we're probably going to use three to four more gallons using this product than we would the typical Agent C solid color stain. So that's a little bit about the product. Um, it does say, I think it. And there's something on here, let me uh, read this. The cool field technology reduces the temperature uh, surface exposed to UV rays up to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It says it's highly resistant to cool chemicals and many other household chemicals. It's um, high build coating limits the surface from becoming slippery compared to other conventional pool coatings. So there's some more information about it. So it's really designed for pool decks. That's why we wanted to try it on this pool deck. So here we go. We'll eventually show you what it looks like here at the end. So there you have it, our deck is almost all complete. Now we're just working our way right out. We got most of it all two coated. It looks pretty cool. It's got a couple colors on it. There's a couple differences between this and the HNC stain we typically use. The HNC stain is a lot easier to apply. This stuff is, is a lot more difficult to apply than the HNC stain and it uses a lot more, but I do like the technology for a pool deck. It definitely is a really good option if you want to coat your pool deck 
and make it look really nice. This is Chris the Idaho Painter. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Instagram. Don't forget to go visit my website, theidahopainter.com, where I'm giving away a lot of tools and uh, products on my website. So we'll see you, hopefully see you on that website. And once again, we'll see you on my next video. Out.